Time to check the Summit League Players of the Week, starting with men's soccer on offense. Kyle Bethel of Oakland. He had six points, a goal and four assists, and two wins over the weekend. And his teammate, John Tim, on defense, he had the shutouts in those two Oakland wins. Women's soccer on offense, Hannah Wampler, the freshman from Omaha, had the two goals and an assist in two Omaha wins. On defense, Laura Atkinson, her third this season already. She had two shutout wins. And she is 7-0 so far on the season. And in volleyball, on offense, Mariah Fair, the junior from IUPUI, 36 kills for the week. Allie Kirk of Oakland, the senior, second of the season for her. She had 19 digs against IUPUI, 24 in a win over Omaha. South Dakota State University is known for its Campanile and for its ice cream. The school also puts out some fine engineers and teachers and pharmacists. And here is more from Brookings in our campus spotlight. What is remarkable about what I teach is the patient experiences, the hands-on application that the students get when they're at my clinic, they get to see patients on a daily basis and provide pharmaceutical care and medication management to the patients. And so in the earlier years of their education, we are teaching the students how to do this in a practice setting so that they can do it when they get out in the clinic setting. SDSU's College of Pharmacy is ranked one of the top in the nation, and as far as cost goes, it's pretty reasonable college, and that's another reason why students are attracted to SDSU. I've been going for my pharmacy degree ever since I first came to SDSU. Human anatomy is what snapped me really into being interested in how the body works and now learning how the drugs affect how the body works is just really fascinating for me. The pharmacy program here is amazing. I would say primarily because of the faculty and the advisors that are here. It doesn't matter what area of research they're doing. They just bring incredible passion and excitement to the lectures, which makes it interesting to study. And SDSU prepares its pharmacy students incredibly well. We have students going into residencies everywhere in the United States and they see SDSU as a leader. I think part of that is because we push our students from day one when you're in our program, you're going to work hard and it's going to pay off in the end. In a successful student, I look for a highly motivated student, so a student that's putting in that extra time and showing that they want to continue in pharmacy practice. I was an anatomy intern my sophomore year. There are about 35 to 40 interns every semester who have taken the class previously, and they're given the opportunity to teach the current students who are taking the class, mostly teaching them the cadaver material with the human cadavers, which are a real great opportunity for undergrad students that not every place has. Make sure you go out and shadow. Pretty much any pharmacist is going to be willing to let you come in for two or four hours and observe what they're doing with any profession. You should go out and shadow to be sure that that's something you're really going to like and enjoy. Our students will be prepared for the future because they have had the academic rigor that a lot of employers like to see. STSU will look amazing on my resume for future employers. Every pharmacy I've worked at has STSU pharmacists there. STSU pharmacists know what to do, they know what's going on, and they do it well. People seek out the SDSU graduates from the pharmacy program. We've had 100% job placement for years now. It's just comforting to know that they'll see SDSU and know that I come from a good quality program. A big thank you to all of our member schools for all of their help. We'll see you next week on Inside the Summit.